Puny, short, too weak, all words you wouldn't really use to describe a Tyrannosaurus rex. But you would if you were talking about their arms. For years, scientists have been reaching for answers about why they're so tiny, but they keep coming up short. Today, we're joined by UC Berkeley paleontologist Kevin Padian, who has a new published hypothesis about why their arms are so short. Kevin, you're also a curator at the UC Museum of Paleontology, so you've probably looked at those skeletons uh, more than most. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thanks, Noel. It's really nice to be here. Okay, so before you tell us your hypothesis, I do want to know how long you've been working to answer this question. Off and on, I would guess for most of 10 years, and mainly I would, I would take my freshman seminar students into the halls and look at the T-Rex and, you know, we explain things and they'd say, why are the, why are the uh, arms so small? And I'd explain the ideas that people had, but it wasn't very satisfactory. I thought, you know, someday I'm pretty have to, have to take care of that, see if I can do something about it. And then one day it just hit me why they were small. And so I had the occasion to write this up because they were having a celebratory uh, book put together for a, an old colleague of mine who's retiring. I thought, well, this is a place. So I yeah. wrote it up. Well, I know some have said maybe it's for mating. Others say the arms were too small to have any function at all, so it was kind of pointless to look for a reason why. Uh, why did those hypotheses not work for you in explaining the answer? A lot of the, the hypotheses, as you point out, were based around function. It was stabbing. It was display. It was, oh, you know, hanging onto the mate during mating. It was mm -hmm. uh, things like that. And, and when you actually go and look at the skeleton, it turns out that they can't do any of those things. The arms are so small, they can't touch each other, they can't touch the mouth, and the head and neck are so big that yeah. if it lunges forward, it's like two or three feet in front of the little arms which can't get there at all. So none of those functions actually worked, which was pretty amazing that no one really, I think, rigorously tested them, although there are some good studies on yeah. some aspects of it. Well, and they used to be longer in their predecessors, right? Yes, uh, like everything else, um, <clears throat> you know, you have to go back and look at the um, ancestral lineages, and they were they were larger in those uh, animals, and they became reduced through time, and so the question is why? And you see, every hypothesis of function always would have worked better if the arms had stayed longer. Mm -hmm. So why would you reduce them? So you say that it has to do with hunting and feeding. So how did you get to that point? In the last 20 years, some discoveries have been made of localities where young and mature T-Rex have been found together. And this is really terrifying because we've always pictured T-Rex as being kind of a lone hunter mm. uh, facing down a triceratops, but now it appears they lived in groups, or at least they associated. And these were not assemblages that were found in context of a kill, they were just bones that of, of, of T-Rexes found together, large and small. So I reason that if they're hunting or feeding in packs, that if you get more than one of these huge animals on a carcass, if one gets too close to the next one, you just might respond by, you know, just biting off your arm. Um, I know that sounds silly in a way, but, but biting the arms can lead to infection, death, you know, bleeding, uh, all kinds of, of mm -hmm. um, of horrendous things and the interesting thing is we do find a lot of bite marks on the skulls and other bones of tyrannosaurs and other carnivorous dinosaurs mm. so clearly they competed for um, these kinds of things so they competed for their food so uh, over time they just uh, you believe uh, that their arms just kind of gradually and naturally became smaller so that other dinosaur so that other tyrannosaurus rexes would not bite their arms in the process of feeding it's clear there's an advantage to this people have, have always focused on what function the arms had and like we said there isn't any function that they really can perform and any function would have been better when they were large. So the question is, why are they reducing? And people were thinking, I think, less, <clears throat> they're thinking, well, let's say they're thinking more about the arms and less about what the benefit to the whole animal could be. Uh. And so my reasoning is, if they're reducing, it's probably serving a benefit to the whole animal. They're not needed in predation and feeding. 
So get them out of the way. Well, this uh, hypothesis of yours is um, appearing in the current issue of the journal Acta Paleontologia Polonica. Is that did I pronounce that correctly? Yeah, close enough for government work, and it's it's um <laughs> it's a nice um it's a nice little journal that our our, our colleagues in Poland have published for years, mm. um, and it was just an occasion to to put this in. What do you want people to keep in mind when talking about your findings and this hypothesis? Um, a grain of salt. <laughs> it's, you know, this is not the final answer, but uh, as I said, I, I mean, I think, first of all, people should understand that the hypotheses proposed simply don't work. And second, that maybe we've been looking at this the wrong way around. Maybe we should be focusing on what that does for the whole animal and not just thinking about the arms. All right. Well, uh, Professor Kevin Padian, thank you so much for joining me and talking a little bit about this uh, hypothesis of yours and giving us uh, a little bit more of an educational background as opposed to just the jokes we always make about the tiny little arms. Cause they're and there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> Thank really you very much. To see you <laughs> you too. Care. You're watching Cronon. We'll have more news after the break.